started thinking, man. Either they don't know, don't show, or don't care about what's going on in the hood. Capitalism. Now, this is going to be a little bit harsh, so I might as well say it up front. Um, because a lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying, not getting the basics of, of what this country is about, what this money is really about. And, uh, so many of you guys get caught up, you see what's going on with the Occupy Wall Street people, you got the, the uh, rich, the, the big banks saying they're making 1.2 trillion and billion and Goldman Sachs is making all this money and and uh, you know what I'm saying then you got the like I said the occupied the 99 percenters and then you got the politicians telling you 999 and all kind of dumb shit is going on in this world right now in reaction to one thing and that one thing is cats have lost money you understand what I'm saying um, the reason why I want to make this up because I've, I just had a good argument with someone over this exact thing I said I might as well turn around regurgitate the game and put it on the rise and grind for you but you gotta understand the nature of this I, I want to explain this recession first to a lot of you young cats so you get it uh, a lot of you cats let's start off on the lowest level a lot of you cats got houses that you know you couldn't afford right because everybody who's, who got their house said hey you know what I could usually couldn't afford a house like this so they got the house and everybody else was doing it so they did it too the banks then took those houses bundled them up like they normally do everybody think they did it on purpose they normally bundle these things up into derivatives you can go buy them yourself every a lot of rich people own mortgages they'll buy them for 50 knowing they're gonna pay out a hundred over the next 20 years a lot of rich people have already been doing this right but now there was a windfall of these mortgages being bundled together and and they sold a whole shitload of them because the banks again are like exchanges they don't want to own shit they just want the money so they will trade you the derivative for 50 grand for you giving them 50 grand cash for 100 grand they don't give a shit it's a pass through to them they don't give a shit all right they rather had a 50 grand today than 100 grand 30 years from now that's a game they always play then you got these cats in the government who are usually you know they always say the Chinese or the Japanese are buying up America and the way they usually buy up America is they buy bonds alright that's just the way that, that the other countries usually buy up America but this time these other countries decided they wanted the money that uh, was in these houses so they bought derivatives instead right and then when the whole shit collapsed of course the countries go down the uh oh let me throw in one more other one the same thing with all you cats with your 401ks and everything else usually when you when someone invests in retirements they don't do speculative stuff they don't do stuff with high risk they will buy bonds too or they will buy big ass companies like gm or ford or, or in other words companies that are damn near too big to fail they will buy the banks that's how most of these 401ks used to be structured they would not fuck around with your money because everybody knows their retirement money. So they would not be investing in a whole bunch of weird shit. But what happened in this situation is so many people got greedy, including your ass, homie. It ain't just everybody on this food chain got greedy. You got a house that you thought you couldn't afford, but you got it anyway. Then you got a car, then you got a boat, then you got six big screen TVs. You know what I'm saying? Then you got a movie theater. Then you had a dance studio, then you had a, a, a damn uh, recording booth and shit, and you had a studio, and you know, I mean, everybody was spending money like a motherfucker. It was never going to be another tomorrow, right? And the banks are like, cool, because we don't care. We'll take the money. You can get a second mortgage. We're going to bundle that shit up and sell it to somebody in New Zealand, too, right? And then they started coming out and telling you things were AAA rated, like it was really good to buy. And then all the uh, the retirement company, country, I mean, people who ran your retirement, they got in on the game too. So in the end, you're looking around saying, well, how all this shit gets so fucked up? Why is everybody so mad in this game? And the main reason why, homie, they got so mad in this game is because when this shit hit the fan, homie, it didn't take away like normal shit. Like, you know, maybe set some motherfuckers back five years or maybe one dude with a bankruptcy nah it set millions of motherfuckers back 
All them people outside on the street, it set them back. Set them back so much they don't know if they ever gonna come out of it. That's just the truth be told. And the game got so damn big that people started losing their jobs. See, it's one thing to take a man's credit away from him. All right? It's even another thing to take his house away from him. But when you take a cat's job or his ways of making money, you're actually taking his living away from him. And that's where these motherfuckers got really, really mad on me. That's where the anger comes up. See, and this is, this is what I was trying to explain to this other cat. If you look outside, they're like, why do you think all these people are so damn mad? And I said, they're mad because you took away their dreams, homie. That's why these motherfuckers are mad. Because these cats had a chance to live in the house that they always wanted. They got to decorate it. They got to buy their kids the shit they always wanted. They went on the vacations they always wanted. They, they dressed the way they wanted. They got the boat they always wanted. They motherfuckers even bought second and third homes because they wanted to go on vacation. Motherfuckers had timeshares. Like, we're going to be able to travel like this forever. Money just coming out the ass. You know what I'm saying? And that's the game. And that's why they're mad. Like I said, you could take a motherfucker's car repossession. You could take a motherfucker's house through foreclosure. You take a motherfucker's dreams, homie, and, and shit hit the fan. And that's why shit's so bad right now. Uh, the reason why I call this capitalism because, God damn it, I don't know how many times I got to explain to you, cat. This is the nature of the game. When I tell you to stop being so warm and fuzzy and take your emotional emotions out of this game, it's for precisely this reason. This shit is cold and calculating, homie. They don't give a fuck. They took your mortgage, your retirement account, and they just playing with the shit, homie. That's what the motherfuckers who got this money do. That's what the banks are doing. That's what the, and you know, everybody on the stock market is doing. Motherfuckers are just buying your future and trading that shit for, for $200 more. And that's the game. And the reason why I always tell you not to complain is because... You got to wake up one day and notice that you on the wrong side of the goddamn table. All this shit they've been feeding us since we kids made it made us on the wrong side of the goddamn table. You understand what I'm saying? You get a good job. You stay there for 20 years. You save up for retirement. You buy a house. You have your kids. They go to a school. The school's great. You get your soccer mom fucking van. You know what I'm saying? Every year you change. It's after Labor Day. Don't wear white. All this old dumb shit. It's Christmas. It's Halloween. It's Thanksgiving. Somebody needs a big turkey. The price of airlines go up because it's Thanksgiving and you got to fly out. God damn it. This is the system. This is the game. This is capitalism. And like I told someone, my, my unofficial definition for capitalism is always the same thing. To capitalize off the dummies to capitalize off the suckers in the system to sell something that costs two cents for two dollars to tell you that your fruit is organic at Whole Foods when you can go down and drive down the damn street and the Mexican homies on the west got the same fruit it's organic what do you think they put on it cyanide them motherfuckers don't get they got a small farm they ain't fucking around like that but you go into Whole Foods and then what happened is a lot of you motherfuckers got caught up in the names of certain things it's organic it's free-range chicken, free-range beef, free-range turkey. Whatever all these goddamn dumb things are. You know what I'm saying? And y'all bought, y'all paid 20 cent more for the fact that the chicken it got to run around and eat bugs. Y'all thought, oh, that, yeah, that makes the chicken better. All this shit is because y'all don't understand capitalism. And if you understood capitalism, which I'll try to give you the, the basics of getting out this game, but some of y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna learn. Y'all watching TV... And y'all think this shit is, you know, how do I get out of it? The way I told you to get out of it, homie, it's your old school, your grandfather's way of seeing this game. You know why everybody black, their grandma and them bought their houses and owned them outright? Because they knew the shit was racist. They knew n the motherfuckers weren't going to be fair. And they made sure they had their shit. Their, their business they owned, the land they owned, the house they owned, the car they owned. They knew the banks weren't fucking, were playing with them, sometimes weren't going to give them their money. So they didn't fuck around. But a, this is a brand new day. A new day of dumbasses of suckers coming and thinking that you're going to be part of this system. And that you're going to get in here. And they, the thing that made everybody so mad is that the white people thought they were part of it too. They thought since they were white that nobody's going to fuck us over. We're white. But then they found out that capitalism doesn't really give a fuck about color. It's about money. And the color is green. 
You know what I'm saying? So they're going to fuck over the miners over in West Virginia and let the mining collapse on their head as long as they make money. They four are going to give you a car that, that flips over. It doesn't give a fuck as long as it makes money. See, this is why I'm trying to get you young cats, man, to, to be tough, to get some tough skin. Because if you don't understand this shit and get emotionless to this money and to this angle, you're going to be a sucker like everybody else. A lot of you cats just say, well, you know, Freeman, I don't want to live like that. I don't want to do like that. I, instead, I'm going to go buy me a $200,000 home because I can afford it. And you know what I'm saying? And I don't care what you're saying. I can square it away. And you know what I'm saying? Me and my wife together, we make enough money. Two people on the plantation should be able to afford this house no problem. Right, Freeman? You know what I'm saying? Because I can't afford not to, you know, you want me to have a bad car. And I, man, let me tell you something about the game. Let me give you something. Let me go back to the basics. If you bought a house that was 50 grand, you bought a, a car, a new car that was 10, 13 grand, you, that car will still take you to the same place. That house will still make sure you went to sleep. You know what I'm saying? But just like anything else, if they put an extra name on it, this is a, this is a Tony Robbins home or Pete McCaskill's architecture or I got a, I got a Brazil cherry wood or my cabinets are made out of real, real Aztec Indian bones. Mother, what the fuck is going on, man? I try to give you the, the way to get out of this game. The way to get to really capitalize on the suckers yourself. You don't want to be on the bottom of this game. You don't want to be that cat that's sitting here crying and watching the world come to an end. You know what I'm saying? But oh, this is how these motherfuckers on top play this game. This is why I call them devils. This is why I call them evil. Because this is the way they do things. This is the way the whole structure is set up. This is the way the whole country is set up. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers are complaining saying the system is broke. The system ain't broke. This is the way motherfuckers intended it to be. You know what I'm saying? When they pass regulations to make sure that Bank of America gives loans to uh, a small business association, you know what I'm saying? It's because they are trying to they put it in saying, yeah, they're helping you, but the system is set up to make sure you go in debt. This is the game, right? And the less you pay back the debt, the more they say, well, he's not a good payer of debt. Then they lock you out the motherfucking system. In other words, if you don't play our way, we got to make sure you are completely locked out. That's when you know something's really up, when something's really fucked up in this game. This is why I'm trying to get you young cats to understand. Life is really about you understanding the devil in front of you. The devil in front of us all is capitalism, right? And it, it fucks up the poor because they don't produce. It, it, it fucking milks the middle class because all you motherfuckers want to be rich. And the rich know to create the businesses to dick you too. The rich are making deals with the government for, for pens and refrigerators and bunks and prison shoes. They already know this game. You and I coming from the bottom or even if you're not coming from the bottom you know have to realize that we have a better opportunity to understand this shit because it never worked for us from the beginning the reason why I can tell you all this shit is because it never worked for me you know what I'm saying when I had to get a loan to go to school that shit was a burden on my back that shit was like why would I have to pay pay this much money to be a lawyer god damn you know what I'm saying? I gotta be willing. I can't even make moves. A lot of y'all motherfuckers can't make moves because y'all in debt. Y'all can't save your chips. You know what I'm saying? And, and the way it's put on TV is a whole bunch of propaganda. How many of y'all motherfuckers memorize commercials? If I sing a, a hymn right now, y'all gonna say, to all beef patties, special sauce, special lettuce, cheese. They are getting, they, they fucking singing nursery rhymes to make you come out and be a customer, homie. In other words, for you to buy a hamburger that costs McDonald's fucking four cent, you buying it for three sixty-eight. This is what capitalism is. I don't want y'all to ever forget what this shit is, because some of y'all like to believe in magic. Some of y'all want want this shit to not be what it is. We're supposed to take care of each other. Where in the whole understanding of making money does it say taking care of each other? And this is what I'm trying to tell you, homie. It does not it does not exist, right? If a, why why are people called bums? Look up what bum really means. Bum, you I can't really say the exact meaning. I'm gonna give you my hybrid meaning, but someone who bums money off of you, right? Someone who doesn't have it. Someone who doesn't have any money, no credit, no nothing. He's a bum. 
meaning he's unable to produce. He doesn't have any money in his pocket, right? He's a bum. He can't help the business do nothing. A lot of people became bums, and they don't like the way it's feeling right now. I feel helpless. I'm part of the 99%. And then all these black people, because y'all dumb as two shits on a, on a, I don't know, I feel sorry for most of you over here celebrating this shit and, and jumping into other people's uh, struggles. And you saying, yeah, Freeman, but what about us? We got 16.3% or 16.7% unemployment. Hey, man, it's been 16.7% unemployment for fucking 40, 50 years, motherfucker. Why the fuck am I getting mad about it now? I ain't gonna jump in the middle of this shit and, and act like motherfucking all these damn companies been coming out here to make sure blacks okay. They not helping blacks because it ain't no money in it, right? Until, until Viacom bought a BT, they didn't think it was no money in black people. Right now they saying, God damn it, there's some, there's some money in black people. We need to get in their pockets too. What can we do? Well, let's go buy their TV stations. Let's buy their radio stations. And this is how crazy that shit is. You can call a motherfucking white person uh, uh, something the most racist words in the world on a black radio station. But the, guess what? The white dude owns the station. He doesn't even get offended. He's making money. He's taking money out your pocket. And the reason why he doesn't get offended because he has no emotion to this game. He's pure to this capitalist game that's going on. One day y'all motherfuckers will understand this and y'all won't get so mad. You know what I'm saying? And you'll start to understand that there is no alternative to this shit, homie. Either the way I told you to get out is the way it's going to be. Either you start to go down this road where you start to own your house outright, your car, everything you do. You need to make sure it's completely paid off. So you don't have no debt to nobody. So when the shit hits the fan, because it's going to hit the fan again, man. When the shit hits the fan, you sitting there okay, because you know what? I don't need nothing but a fucking $1,000 to survive, because I don't owe nobody. Do I think I can get $1,000? I can hustle 1000 I can hustle 1000 on the street if I have to. Right? So it's a matter of saying, because Freeman don't owe nobody, I could just sit here and do nothing. I don't give a fuck how bad the world is. I'm trying to teach y'all that. I'm trying to teach you your independence. For, for, for my black people, I'm trying to teach you emancipation. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be a free slave, homie. I want you to get out of this shit. But you're always going to have people who believe in the system. And they're always going to be capitalized on by the motherfuckers with money. Because every day there's a bitch that wakes up in this game and thinks, Yeah, you know what? Freeman, if, uh, yeah, if I borrow 20000 and then my business doesn't work out, yeah, you know, what do you think? You think I should borrow the money? No, motherfucker. Of course you know I don't. I don't. Don't ask me. You know I don't want you to borrow no money. Take your time. Independence is important. If you if you lost the the business, and it was all your money, all you did was lose money. If you lost the business and you had to pay back the bank, you're gonna be paying back the bank for the next five years for something that never worked. And this is why I tell you to be. I'm so harsh to you cats on this angle. If you're going to take out a loan, take out a loan for on your house for 50 grand or something small, something that's barely $200, because you could pay that off in two years. You can just save two G's, right, or $2,400, or $48 or $5,000, and you're good for two years. If shit hit the fan, you, your family ain't going to lose the house for two years. Shit shouldn't long last that long, but if it does, you're going to make money in the meantime. The reason why I'm putting this capitalism one out, man, primarily because I just had an argument over this shit. And I know people don't like the truth. The truth of the matter is a lot of motherfuckers got greedy all the way up and down the damn thing. From from you at the bottom buying a house you can't afford to the banks saying it's a whole bunch of this shit, let's flip it. To a whole bunch of other motherfuckers that run your 401k or your retirement plan buying, buying this shit. And so is other countries, New Zealand and Greece and everybody. Instead of doing what what's the normal way. Buy the most stable shit. You buy a house and pay it off. You get a car and you get a low cost car and you pay it off. You buy bonds just like the Chinese do. You don't worry about it. It's guaranteed money. It ain't no fickle money. It's guaranteed. You pay $50 for a bond, they give you $100 back. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, it's just instant money. But you sitting on the sideline saying, but Freeman, everybody's making money and everybody's living the high life. And then you get, you get turned into a sucker. Look, when I came out of school, right, I came out of law school, everybody was like, Freeman, you should buy a house, you should buy a house, man, you know, I got somebody who can buy your house. I didn't buy one, and the main reason why I didn't buy one, because I knew the shit was outrageous, and I didn't want to be a sucker in this game, 
and I, I refuse to be a sucker in this game. You know what I'm saying? So now that all this shit is said and done, I'm looking at houses that I never thought I could even afford. Because I'm saying, shit, man, you know what? That's so cheap. I can just buy it and move in there. And, and that's the game. Stick to the code, man. Stick to what this game really is. Capitalism is what runs this country. Money runs this country. The reason why shit don't get better is because it ain't no money in it. The reason why the ghetto is a ghetto because nobody got no money in their goddamn pockets. You know what I'm saying? The reason why your kids get a bad education is because they don't give a fuck whether you get up and make any money anyway. You know, it's a cold ass world that we live in, homie, and I'm trying to give you a, a early warning system, homie. I'm like the motherfucker telling you it's a tsunami coming. You know what I'm saying? You hear that, that noise going off and shit on a on the horizon telling you that a tsunami coming. I'm trying to, to let you have that horn, man, let you know don't fuck around with this shit unless you really on top of it and the only way you can really get on top of it homie is to make sure you walk in this game without owing anybody and I don't mean that with your school loans I mean that with your house and your car note and your health insurance and all this shit that will make you have a bad time you need to make sure it's secure and paid for it. you don't need a lot of money man once you get everything you need done and paid off if you didn't have to pay, if you think about it right now, if you didn't have to pay not one thing from your car note to your insurance to your house note, you would probably be walking around with about two G's in your pocket. 